Are there really no selfless teens out there? My research led me to Brighton, where I got wind of some very extreme teenage activity. What's going on? Well, I've come to see this um, environmental group who kind of pick up rubbish around this woodland, um, which they love so much. But um, it's a half term and they're doing it for fun. So I kind of think I'm way out of my depth here. The Dorothy Stringer School Environmental Group meet once a week to tend the woodland and indulge in an all-round crazy ecological extravaganza. So, Jonathan, how did you first get into the whole litter-picking situation? I got into it because I thought, well, this is a really nice woodland area that we're in. Yeah. And I wanted to just make sure that it's nicer for the animals in there. Yeah. And it's nice for all the people that want to come and enjoy the environment. Yeah. Do you carry on about the environment, that kind of stuff? I do, yes, because I think it's really important and it's, it's the world that we live in. Yeah. So we, we all need to care about it and be interested in it. Yeah. And make sure it's there for future generations and make sure it's there for us to enjoy. Yeah. Do you not mind kind of giving up your Saturday? Because I know if I had to kind of um, give up some of my half term to go and pick up rubbish, I wouldn't find it that fun because I'm not very a very environmental person. But do you mind? Do you really care about the environment that much? Yes, I think because in the end it's the world that I live in as much as anyone else lives yeah. in. And so it's really important that I, I like giving up my Saturday because I know that it's is helping other people. And besides which, it's really quite an enjoyable and fun time meeting other people yeah. who are interested in the environment as well. Would you say um, that you're a political kind of guy? Yes, I'm interested in politics. Yeah. And um, I think everyone who is interested in anything to do with the, the world and the country and anything to do with their own lives is interested in politics. So do you think you're an average teenager? I think it's wrong to talk about an average teenager in the same way there is no average 30 year old, there is yeah. no average of any person. I'm an individual yeah. and that's what's important, not tribes or classes of people, but individual people with their own ideas and thoughts. Are you worried at all about being thought of as cool? Um, I don't really know, to be honest with <laughs> you. I, 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 don't th I don't think it really matters. There is no area in which uh, there is complete tolerance of everyone's views and ideas. Um, and so, yes, no, it doesn't bother me, but that's because I think ultimately we, we mustn't be interested in intolerant views, but we must learn to be inclusive of everyone else. Being cool bother you? Um, hugely. Um, I think in the society that I live in, in the circle of friends that I have, if you're not cool, um, then you're kind of a loser. And I think that I would be really shallow um, to say this, but um, I want to be truthful and say that I do um, kind of care a lot about what people think about me. Is it because I'm cool? Why you dress like me? Is it honesty? Or are you just a fool? Is it because I'm Yeah, yeah, go for the cutting. Somehow I don't think this is going to be my strong point. So you're cutting through, aren't you? Yes, indeedy. Here it goes. Out the way. Timber! <laughs> Do you think you'd do anything like this? Um, no way. Ever, ever in my life, in my life, would I come here and pick up trash and cut down trees for fun. I can say that. Honestly, this is the thing that I can say throughout the film, just straightforwardly, never. Does that not make you a bit selfish? No, it doesn't. It's just like, why would you give up your half term to come with a group of people and pick up litter? That's not what being a teenager is about. Being a teenager is about having fun and socialising, not going out and picking up trash. Do you think that you're making a big difference in the environment by doing this? Yeah, I'd like to think we do, um, yeah. because we've got a lot of motivation. And so what we do think we do, it should, makes a bit of a difference within the school, yeah. yeah. Do you get a lot of, like, slack from being an um, uh, environmentalist? Yeah, quite a lot. But um, I don't really take much notice of them because I don't particularly think of them as very um, interesting people. 
particularly yeah. because um, it's just not I don't think it's that cool not to be interested in stuff it's, oh well I, I think that's good What they're doing is great because they're helping the environment and they're actually really enthusiastic about helping the environment which is really cool because you don't get a lot of teenagers that are like truly into it um i always thought that people who are like out of the inner circle of being cool really cared about it because they don't give a crap they really like and i think that's actually quite cool despite my initial skepticism the environmentalist got me thinking who decides what's cool? They were cool in each other's eyes. <laughs> I think that I'm a teenage stereotype, that I place way too much importance on people being cool or not, and I think I should be stop being so close-minded and kind of start speaking to everyone. <laughs> I feel lucky to be young and to be a teenager. Yeah, it makes me appreciate a lot being young and being youthful and being healthy and it's just great, yeah. I think it's the funnest time of your life. Every time that I get older, like my 16th birthday is coming up and I'm kind of like, I'm happy to be 16 because it's a cool age, but I know when my 17th is coming up, I'll be like, oh my God, I'll have to like fly the nest soon and like buy a house or whatever. Those things are so alien to me and it's quite scary, but. What do you think you'll be like at 30 then? Um, having a midlife crisis. <laughs> Definitely, I'm such a loser. I wanna hold you, wanna hold you tight. Get teenage kicks, rest through the night. Next, more gripping action. It's a very dangerous situation. I cannot guarantee your safety. We're staying. Catch up on the drama in 24.